Good afternoon and welcome to another video by myself, uh, Chuck Lawson. Uh, cold, rainy outside, but I uh, wanted to give you a little rundown of some games that you might want to go to this week. Some tournaments, single A, double A, triple A. Um, things are kicking off. They already kicked off actually for a lot of teams uh, on last Thursday and Friday. But uh, just wanted to give a little rundown and kind of want to go through some uh, pretenders and uh, not really contenders. I'm, I'm sorry, not pretenders, but contenders in each classification. Uh, but firstly, I wanted to uh, start with single leg. Uh, my contenders in single A, um, I would probably say Booker T. Washington, which is, to me, the best team in single A in the city right now, easily. Uh, Booker T. Washington, city champions on Saturday over at White Station. They beat PCA. Another contender, uh, Power Center Academy, PCA. Um, they have a really good guard with PCA, but Booker T. Washington has two or three, four of the nice guards. A guy to watch out for, PCA, Sean Terrio Porter. It's not really talking about it a whole lot, but he's a guy that gets it done uh, each game. I think he averaging around 22 points per game. J.C. Johnson really good over there. Uh, they have a couple more guys as well. Treshawn Marion, uh, another guard. Uh, I can't think his name. It escapes me right now, but really, really good guard. Um, they're set up to, to win now, and uh, they're set up to win in March when it comes time for that. I think they really, really, really have a good chance of getting out of here this year. Booker T. Washington, coached by Antonio Harris, uh, who is a legend in his own right out of South Memphis, over at Booker T. Washington High School. So uh, I talked about PCA and Booker T. Washington. Another name to watch out for on the high school front, another team, I'm sorry, Moz, uh, Memphis Academy of Health and Science, coached by Vernard Watkins, still in prayer for Vernard. Coach for now, Washington, we're still in prayer for you. Um, they have a kid by the name of David Dixon, who's really, really good. 2021, about 6'8", I think. Um, came on late in the year, but had a, a big-time effect on that team. Uh, they also have R.J. Berkeley, Dylan Woods, Cameron Miller. Woods is a, a big-time athlete. Uh, Berkeley's a, a nice guard, one of the more underrated guards in the city, I believe, in my opinion. Uh, that's a team that could, you know, be right there with the Booker T. Washington in terms of uh, being a state contender. I don't think they played yet, if I'm not mistaken. They may have. They, they probably have. Uh, but I don't know the outcome of that. But that's on the 15A side. And um, another team on that side, I believe, is Mace, M-A-S-E. So many alphabets, man, M-A-S-E. Uh, they're coached by... Memphis uh, own Marcus Moody, uh, over the high school alum for Memphis Tiger. Um, pretty good team. Uh, Cami improved, good guard. Uh, that's a team to watch out for. On that side, on 15 A side, I have coming out of there, coming out of there for regional play. Booker T. Washington, Miles, uh, Mace in Middle College, another good team. Uh, Coach Patrick Mask over at Middle College, another guy doing a good job. I think it's his first year over there, I believe. If not first year, if it's not more than two years, I know. Um, the championship game on that side is going to be Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Um, I think it's at Booker T. Washington. So, Booker T. has a, you know, a pretty pretty nice little you know advantage having that home court. It's great to have home court advantage this time of year. Double A. Double A. Double A. My top four out of 15 double A. Uh, of course, that's the side with uh, Covington, uh, Bolivar, Haywood, Fayetteware, Ripley. My top four from that side, this is 15 double A now. My top four from that, from that side, uh, Covington, Haywood, Fayetteware, Ripley. Covington is, I think, 23 and 4 right now. They've been the favorite all year. They look like the favorites on that side. But let me jump back into single A. I'm sorry, single A. I don't mean, do you like them? I'm sorry, single A. 16A, single A, Hillcrest, Oak Haven, PCA, Westwood, Freedom Prep. It's going to be a good one tonight at West, uh, I'm sorry, Hillcrest. Westwood and Hillcrest play tonight. Uh, it's when they go home in that game. 
Coach Chris, what you going to do, man? Coach A.J. John, what you going to do? Um, I think they've been beat twice by Westwood during the year. So it's a tough game. But Hillcrest is at home, but it's still a tough game. Coach Jones told me that the Kaiser has been kind of up and down. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, my picks out of that region, I mean, I'm sorry, out of that district to go to the regional power center. City University, Coach Ron Heary, Freedom Prep, and Westwood, Coach Chris Adams. First year at Westwood, doing a great job as well. Um, but again, that was my rundown of the single A, rundown of the first in double A, 15 double A, 16 double A. Wooddale, that's the side that Wooddale's on. Wooddale, Raleigh, Egypt, uh, Hamilton, Craigmont. Uh, Sheffield MLK. Sheffield MLK are both out of the tournament. Their seasons are finished. Uh, there was an unfortunate incident, uh, but uh, they're not playing in the tournament this year. So that gives, I believe, uh, Wooddale and Mitchell both buys to Friday. Wooddale will put the winner between Raleigh, Egypt, and Hamilton. That's going to be a good game. Uh, a guy I really like at Raleigh, Egypt, uh, Quintavious Bailey, Squirrel. Um, shoots to cover off of it, man. Really, really can get hot. And uh, for Hamilton, another guy that you need to know, uh, that people should know already, Anthony Burks. Another guy that can, you know, light it up, kind of herky-jerky style guard, lefty, lefty, and shoot the ball with anybody in the city. You know, I'll put him against anyone in the city. I, I mean, it's no question. Uh, that's going to be a good game. But my top four coming out of that is going to be Wooddale, Mitchell, Hamilton, and I want to say I wanted to go with Melrose in this game, but I don't think they'll do it. But just based off some reason that I've heard recently, or well, actually today, but I do believe that they are capable of an upset. Ricky Shotwell, uh, to me, is maybe the best small guard in the city. And I say small guard. I mean, like five, seven, five, eight. I think Lil Ricky is probably maybe the best guard in the city when it comes to you know a guy being that size. He's got some competition, but Lil Ricky, Lil Ricky is really, really good. Ricky Shotwell, he's a senior. So from that side, I got Mitchell, Craigmont, Hamilton, Wooddale. Those are gonna be the so from Double A. My top eight going to the region are going to be Covington, Haywood, Fayetteville, Ripley, Wooddale, Mitchell, Hamilton, and Craigmont. The Craigmont Chiefs. They have a home game tonight, but that's an important game. That's a game that they, that they can they can lose that game. I mean, they really can. But I'm going to go over Craigmont because they do have a that's a home game for them. So that breaks down single A, double A, single A and double A. The contenders, the contenders in single A and double A. Single A, remember, Moss, BTW, Mace, Middle College, single A, 15, 15A. And then on the 16A side, I have Powerson Academy, Westwood, City University, and Freedom Prep, a surprising Freedom Prep team. Watch out for Fairley also, but I got Freedom Prep in there as well. On the single A side. And in double A, uh, like I said before, that's an interesting, interesting uh group of teams in double A. Uh like I said, Covington's been the favorite all year long. Haywood has a, a chance to to meet the upset someone and watch out for Fay Ware as well with Philip Horton, Hamonte Griggs. Griggs is a sophomore and uh six nine, by the way, I'm sorry by the name of Josh Stephen Walker, who's gonna be really, really good. Josh Stephen Walker, remember that name. Uh, 6'9", sophomore. Going to be really, really good. Coach uh, Cheers has done a great job his first year at Fayetteville. Um, a lot of first-year coaches doing doing, doing big things. Chris Adams, Coach Cheers, doing some big things. I, like I said, I think Patrick Mads is a first-year guy as well. So those are my breakdowns of the single-A and double-A. You can catch double-A championships um, this weekend. I'm sorry, 16 double-A will be – championship will be at Merrill's this weekend – on Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Um, I think that Covington is going to be, I'm, I'm sorry, Bolivar is going to be at Bolivar. Uh, their championship game is going to be on Monday, I believe. 
Watch out for Bolivar as well, but I don't really have them advancing and being one of those top four from that 15 double A side. So, with that being said, I'll come back and I'll do triple A um, and talk about them on another whole video by themselves. Now, I'm going to press scoop out.